All right, back at another project. 2005 Road King Harley Davidson for a good boy of mine, actually. Do a lot of work for my friends, man. <laughs> but anyway, long story short, uh, we're gonna we're gonna add a little bit to the dopeness here, changing up the bars, uh, wiring, cable kit. I'm gonna do a clutch in it. He just bought this off of offer up and uh it's really low miles but it looks like it's been down or something's happened to it got some scuffs on the motor itself it must be on the other side bear with me right there kind of wondering if it went for a tumble or something happened but uh yeah all aside that man it ain't it's far from ruined uh we're gonna go ahead and start with we took the seat and the bags off already and disconnect the battery then I'm gonna go ahead and break into these bars we ordered a nice little uh, kit online pardon my mess but uh, real good setup here 14 inch risers uh, you know I can't honestly remember the make on these ones I apologize but anyway pre-wired bars uh, simply what that means is everything's ready to go I am going to put some extra heat shrink around these wires where they penetrate, though. Always a good idea. And, uh, yeah, we got all new hand controls and everything else. Nice fat chrome. Inch and a quarter. So, yeah, they're going to look good. Bear with me. And I'll uh, get the rest of the video going here for you. Next port. All the fun begins. We tore off one side, the headlight, uh, bezel, cover, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I start to, I like to label mine. This is just simply just plug-ins. Uh, keep all my parts set up. I like to bag everything. That way every piece is, uh, yeah, non-questionable. Goes back together the same way it came apart. There you go. Let me uh, go ahead and pause this and we'll resume in a minute when I get a little farther. And by the way, these are drag bars. That is the maker of these ones. I went ahead and took a look because I felt kind of guilty. There you are. Uh, keep this filming in a second. All right, I tried to do the best that I could on the uh, angle here. Let me uh, modify this a hair. What I did though, this gray plug goes to the bars. This black plug right here goes to the bars as well. Here's the connection points to the bike. They only plug in one way. So just don't swap around these pins. We're going to heat shrink and solder all these wires to the new bars since they're pre wired. Bear with me. We'll get it. And I did disconnect the battery first thing, by the way, fellas. Uh, always a good idea. So, there you go. Uh, make sure you pay attention to the routing of the brake lines. Throttle cables. It won't quite work right if you don't. And I labeled all switches. Left. Right. And uh, just everything that... I don't want to mess up here, so there you go. Let me go ahead and pause this, and we'll resume in a second. Next thing's next. Factory. You think of the vibration coming out of a Harley. What's that going to do to the edges of your wiring? You got to kind of find uh, a little bit of slack, but what I like to do, this is heat shrink. I'm going to slide it on in that hole. And uh, that way the vibration don't go through the wiring doing funky stuff to turn signals, starter, whatever it may be. And we already got this all tore off the neck here. Um, old bars laying here. We will need these plugs, so don't throw them away. Those two. And we're going to remount all this. I'm going to use, I like to use anti-seize, Loctite, all the little uh, stuff to hold the bolts on and keep good what is good so there you go uh let me pause this we'll resume get a few more things done and i'll get back on the video here 
All right, we just set them up. Got the wiring on, just kind of hanging in there. We'll put heat shrink all in there, all the way up the tube about halfway, probably about an inch and a half anyway. Uh, just kind of protect it from the vibration, the edge of the thing, if it's sharp at all. We're going to get some grips back on and all the uh, pieces, the extended cables, extended wiring, uh, throttle cables. Uh, I have the gas tank loose, so I'm just going to put a block of wood under the edge, just enough to hold it up from the carb there. And, uh, yeah, I can give it L. Now, I'm going to pause this. We'll resume in a minute. Next part, we have uh, soldered under these and heat shrinked, made it uh, about original length, maybe about two inches longer overall. Next part, we're going to do the other side to the other side of the bar. Same deal, just cut the wires, match it up, and then after, we're going to probably put this in a, a rubber wire loom or something to protect it. All the rattling around these Harleys got, you know, love them. But they can be a nightmare if you don't take care of them right. Uh, there be. Bear with me. And uh, next part will be in a second. Alright, next step. We got these bars all tightened on. I have my buddy that owns this bike sitting on the seat. Tell me where it's fancy at. Comfortable, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we came up with right here. We like it. Let me uh, widen this up. There we go. Okay. So there it be, um, they look good, they mounted nicely, uh, drag bars, the brand. Now we're working on uh, these cables, because these uh, originals, these are the ones that were on the bars before, but obviously these would be super stretched out. I've seen it done before, bad idea, because uh, stuff don't work correctly. But anyway, uh, long story short, this little thing right here. Let me change the video here. Okay, right there. This piece simply slides in. And it's got a notch right here. For the cable. If you kind of spin it, rotate it, and then it'll pop right out. And there's one cable for throttle. Which would actually be the lower one on this uh, picture. And it spins it that way. This is the return one on the upper side. Well, make sure you got your cables. Uh, this is the original control for the hand control of it. The little balls go in a little fitting like the ones that are on this piece over here. I got a T set up. But these cables are actually really bad if you look at them. They're frayed. So anytime that's going to break, leave you stranded. But there you go. We're going to go ahead and undo this. This slides out. There's a uh, uh, notch right there. And the whole thing will pull out. Maybe. <laughs> this side's got a spring. So it's a little sticky. But uh, that's the return side. You know by that. The other side, same deal. Let's see if we can simply pull it up come out of the notch bam one and done we're gonna go ahead and now lift the tank and there's one bracket that holds these both to the frame hold on here okay one bracket behind the tank in here above this on the frame and it mounts it to the frame after that's out we can go ahead and pull the whole lines and everything and uh good to go bear with me i'm gonna pause this all right back at it the nightmare part of the clutch cable this exhaust ain't gonna work with me at all as far as getting that cover off gotta break the uh, exhaust loose here there's a breaking point and then it'll slide out and i think we can avoid pulling that floorboard off pulling this out and back getting it out of the way this side, I uh, found it a little easier to just take off the, the bag support and uh, just leave it loose for a second while we just slide this piece out. One and done. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Bear with me. 
I'll resume in a minute. All right, we now got our exhaust off. These ones are kind of a pain in the butt, but eh, we got her. Anyway, right, now we can get our cover off. We got both sides of exhaust off. Unfortunately, the whole thing's got to come off. But uh, there you go. There it be. Um, yeah, let me do a little more work. And these, uh, here's our pipes. I think I'm going to clean these up with a steel wool inside of them. Make sure that uh, all that's off and everything's straight. Looks a little mint right there. Clean these up so everything slides back together the way it should. And uh, I'll keep making a video here. Alright, next little section piece. Uh, this right here. Is where the cable comes out of the back side. The little ball on the back. Slides through your hole. On the cover. And we're going to rear out. And rear on this whole cable. That goes up to the clutch. Over to the other side. Back up to the bar up there. And uh, here's our existing clutch cable now. But we're going to replace all that. Put it all back together. So, uh, let me pause this. On to the next. Alright, last little part. We obviously got our bars installed. I was looking for the snap on the throttle and make sure everything's free and clear. I just routed these back through the factory holes. New brake lines. All the way through. We're going to now bleed this out after we fill the reservoir. Double check the uh, fittings. Make sure they're torqued down. What we're doing is snap them. We got our headlight back in. I actually just switched it to an LED. So this should look real good. Let's see if we can back this camera off. There you go. End result turned out nice. Just finished putting uh, the last few pieces on, minus the bags. We're waiting on them right now. Put some extended bags on her. Put a uh, new LED headlight in there. And uh, that'd be it. Looks good. Finished anyway. There be. Hope you enjoyed.